This is another video produced by Bridging Humanity, and what Bridging Humanity does is we try to teach others how to become self-sufficient by making useful things out of trash and by getting off the grid. And so uh, what we've done is we've created um, an episode here. It's called Cycle Bead Family Planning, and we are embarking on a campaign called The Nine Steps to Eradicate Poverty. And so this is one of the components to eradicate poverty is to teach women in developing countries how to use these cycle bead systems to manage when they're fertile and can get pregnant during their menstrual cycle. And so this was actually something that was studied by scientists and they did some tests and they came up with this 32 day system and they created a necklace and um and it actually works and so we researched it and um the necklaces that were being provided were not very attractive and so we thought let's create something that will inspire women to want to wear them and to feel proud about it and so and also it's it's a way of controlling their life and so um the way it works is it can be color coded and but basically you have 32 days in your menstrual cycle and so i have three sets of necklaces here that i wanted to show you three different uh styles and um basically the the colors aren't consistent um but, um, you know, what you want to do is make sure that you always use the one red bead to represent that when you have your period. And so that's, this is the red bead here for this necklace, and this is the one over here for this smaller dainty necklace. Now, the way it works is um, you're supposed to, with each passing day, you're supposed to um, put a clip or you can use one of these rubber washers. This was, the original necklace was used with these little rubber washers, but I found them to be a bit unstable and, um, and I didn't feel it would be a, a safe way for these women to track their days. And so what I did is I used these clips and then I have a sample here. This is actually a clip charm from uh, the Red Shoe Movement, which was uh, founded by Mariela Davala. And she's actually providing me with a lot of these little um, red shoe movement clips that I'm going to use to make some cycle beads to hand out to women in developing countries and so we thank her for that um, but basically what you can do is you can use this clip to to um, actually go from day to day on your cycle system so here's the first one I wanted to show you this is when you have your period you're supposed to put the clip here so that indicates the first day of your period and then what you do is you count um, up to the eighth day, which is when you are most likely to get pregnant, is between the eighth day and the nineteenth day. And so, if you count here, you, your period started. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, this is the eighth day. And so, these are the days from the eighth day, you've, um, starting from when your period started, to the nineteenth day is when you are most likely to get pregnant. So this is when uh, women need to use. Um, contraceptives so that they don't get pregnant and then what uh, happens over here is these are the days that um, you know you it's okay and you won't get pregnant and so um, and what they try to differentiate these two days these I'm sorry these days here just to kind of like let you know your period is about to start again and so this is the 32 base system and then what I wanted to do is I want to show you this necklace over here. It's the same thing. These are all 32 beads. And um, I actually put the clip uh, over here to indicate that this is the danger zone. This is when you're fertile and you can get pregnant. And then what I did it over here is I have this, um, this is a very dainty necklace. Um, and uh, because I wanted to try to make as many styles as possible because um, you know one woman has the same taste and so as you can see they're very colorful they're very beautiful and um, and hopefully we can uh, spread the word that these are easy to make and that it will help these women be able to uh, do their family planning and so um, this is it for this episode stay tuned for more videos from Bridging Humanity